and um, want to continue to su- support South Carolina with our our presence. You know, we, we always remind everybody that tourism is the number one revenue generator in the state of South Carolina. And we've seen other places where the tourism industry has been hit. Look at the Gulf Coast, for instance, or even look after hurricanes have struck Florida. And look, well, look at what's happening right now with the oil spill on the beaches along the Gulf Coast are just being devastated, not only by the oil, but by the lack of tourism dollars. And when you have the free kind of advertising, that you get on Army Wives all the time, and you see these beautiful vistas and these gorgeous marsh shots, and then the beautiful areas of Charleston where you guys shoot. It, it's well, I see you guys, you ladies. It is Army Wives, but anyway, <laughs> then you, you that's a free postcard for millions of people to see. Millions and, of people, and it would seem that it would be a, a, a small price to pay in a tax uh, in an incentives program that would pay itself back. And you know, you look at some of the numbers when you talk about renovating a 74,000-square-foot warehouse, a second 27,000-square-foot warehouse, sound stages now where they used to be empty properties, and a third 17,000-square-foot vacant warehouse turned into a set building shop. These are people whose livelihoods not only depend on this, but the economy is so stimulated by this that I would imagine some of the people that you run into who who were here before Army Wives are so happy to see you and want you to stay here so badly. Absolutely, because we are creating jobs, and that's what the film and television business does. You know, we are, we, Army Wives has become a part of this community, but uh, beyond Army Wives, film and television is good for this state. You're right about the fact that the uh, Army Wives cast and crew has really gotten into the community, a number of charity events, a number of of events, a number of uh, of uh, efforts that that, that uh, everybody has supported, and it's been wonderful to have Army Wives here. But also another thing is the 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 job the, the jobs created in the television and film industry. I mean, we have this beautiful big empty port yes. down there, that uh, empty Navy base that has all these great facilities that can be used in ways that Army Wives is using them. And then also you've got the film and television industry and the internships, the jobs created by the University of South Carolina, Trident Tech, College of Charleston. I mean, this is uh, this is furthering the expansion of the film industry in the state that could be jeopardized if this veto isn't overridden. And Richard, what about the Army Wives spinoff show that they're working on right now that's supposed to be here that would be a, another benefit? Wendy, what can you tell us about the spinoff? Can't tell you much, but, uh, <laughs> oh, <come laughs> but I can tell you that it's going to be fabulous. Uh, but absolutely, you know, one of the things, you know, you have all of these programs, these colleges that are teaching film and television, but we all know that you can learn about film and television in a book. You can watch videos, but it's not until you get your hands in it, your hands on the actual, you know, uh, thing that you're trying to learn, you know, and these young students are coming to army wives and they are learning their craft in real time you know, you know, pedal to the metal style. And uh, so we are not only, um, not only are we uh, developing them, but we are expanding Mm -hmm. the local talent here for film and television. And, 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 you know, look, people in South Carolina really started to understand in the mid to late 80s what we could be when it comes to television and film. We saw that come to fruition in the late 80s and especially in the 90s. You think about Mel Gibson and the Patriot that was shot Absolutely. downtown out of Cypress Gardens. And, and and you think of Leatherheads, the George Clooney movie shot in the upstate. And and just we, we've seen the impact that it has. I, I guess the thing is, is that on behalf of the cast of Army Wives, are you encouraging people to call our state senators and let them know that you support this incentives program to keep Army Wives and the whole industry alive and well in South Carolina? Absolutely. We would love for you to call your senators. There's a couple of ways that you can do that. Uh, we have set up a, seb- a website. It's it's a Facebook website, and it's uh, Facebook Save South Carolina Film Incentives, and all of the senator information is listed there. You can call your senator, fax your senator, because this vote is going to happen tomorrow. Do you, so, have any, do you have any indication at all if this vote is in danger of not overriding? Do you have is there any indication from the the, the cast and crew there? Um, we don't have an indication. I I think what is the the real feeling is that we need the people to know what's going on. The people who love and support uh, television and films coming here to South Carolina and want this to continue. People who don't want to lose this millions of dollars in in revenue to South Carolina, as well as the free advertising to South Carolina, those people who want to be heard, we want them to directly contact 
their senators and um, and and be heard by the senators. And, and and it's not only the impact economically and stimulating during the gr- the Great Recession when we've seen other areas around the country get hit hard. Uh, we we you know we've been able to stimulate our economy that way. But the investment, not only personal investment for. For people like you who put down roots and who, who've got a home and have your family here, but also the investment of the industry in itself that continues to mushroom as we continue to do these kinds of things. I mean, there's a there's a multifaceted, there are a number of reasons why this needs to be overridden. And, and as somebody who has been a big fan of the governor, minus the Argentinian thing, which <laughs> hasn't shown up in the script yet on Army Wives, but you never know. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I understand what he's coming from, but I think this is something that pays itself back time and time again that you can't measure. Absolutely. Absolutely. What do your friends say in other parts of the country about, you know, that, that you've known you know, throughout your life? Like, what, what's up with Charleston? What's yeah, up with they, they are definitely they, saying that. There's one thing that they say, they, you know, what's up with Alvin it's, Green and what's up with the governor? Yeah, that's, that's there's thing, a little bit of... <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole other issue. As John Seward has said on The Daily Show, we've replaced Florida as the craziest state in America. <laughs> so I kind of wonder, but also just from the standpoint that, you, you know, they people get to who have known you for a long time, all of a sudden... You love Charleston. You love South Carolina. What happened? Well, I think that there is a there is a general consensus out there that uh, that any state would be you know crazy to to you know cut their tax incentives and you know basically make a an industry leave the state, which is really what we're talking about. That's called calling it like it is. <laughs> That's a lieutenant colonel speaking right there. Lieutenant Colonel Joan Burton, who's her character, Wendy Davis from Army Wives, is in the studio, and Steve has a question for you, Wendy, concerning. Our vice president. How you doing, Steve? Hey, Richard. How you doing today? Doing fine. What's your question for uh, for Wendy? Hey, Wendy. How you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. Big fan of the show. And by the way, you don't know me, but I'm a I'm a Facebook friend of yours. But anyway. Oh, <laughs> hey, Steve. Uh, listen, Richard, <laughs> this is a no brainer. I I've actually seen this up close, and you you know how it works. You're in the industry, kind of. I was a friend of mine called me and asked me to be an, an extra early, uh, early in the year at a beach scene out on Folly. You know, the gobs of people and employees spending money is just unbelievable. They used a pier. They used a Holiday Inn, a big part of it. And, and you know, that's a lot of revenue coming in. And and then I work on the base, and every day I take my lunchtime walk down in the old office's housing just to get exercise. Now, people don't go rushing out there because they aren't there every day. But I do see them shooting out there occasionally. And last week I happened upon some – are you allowed to talk about your, your special guest, Wendy? Uh, mm, mm, I'm not sure. That's a good well, question. St- we Steve? have a very special guest coming yes. up soon. Well, but. and, and, and aired August 15th, and I'll just say I walked up on two black SUVs, and I just kind of watched. But anyway, <laughs> that's the end of it. Y'all have fun. Thank Enjoy you, Steve. I, I, I believe this may be a reference also to the first lady who will be appearing sometime in the near future, right? Wow. Did you see how he just put it out there yeah, like that? Yeah, I just that? put it out there. I, I, <laughs> even on vacation, I was keeping tabs. With him. But it just shows you the appeal that the show has across demographics. And, and across America, and, and this is a chance to keep the show alive and well. If, th- for some reason, the veto is sustained and not overridden, are we looking at next season being the last one shot here in the Low Country? Absolutely. And it, it, actually, I want to make a correction. It was not the First Lady, That's but right. someone very closely associated with her. Okay. We won't uh, go any further than that. <laughs> but um, but this, is, this person, our very special guest, uh, is a military mom herself, and... Um, you know, yeah, I mean, she supports she supports us telling this story. You know, one of the things that really touches and moves me is all of the, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the military uh, wives and families that I meet. You know, it is really just an honor to tell these stories. And South Carolina, it, it is just the most amazing backdrop to tell these stories. You know, Army Wives is the only television show to ever tell the stories of military families, the people who are left behind, uh, and to tell the stories of, of their, you know, the tragedies uh, and the triumphs the, that they experience. The sacrifice and the stress on families left behind while their loved ones serve overseas. And, and let's just say that if you take a combination of the names we just threw out there and you find it somewhere in the middle, that's who the special guest is. <laughs> but you just have to stand by for more. Wendy, thank you so much for stopping by here. And, and, thank and you. And best efforts not only on this, but continued success with Army Wives with as Lieutenant Colonel John Burton. That's so. right. So contact your senators. Let them know to uh, to override the governor's veto on number 64. It comes up tomorrow. Wendy Davis from Army Wives here with us at 1250 WTMA. Radio Free Rocky D. People will come-